Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing today on this Labor Day? Labor Day didn't even seem like a holiday to us. We're doing the exact same thing today. So, how is everybody's weekend? I hope everybody's had a good one. Um, I tell you what, guys, if I get honest, all this freaking lighting, I'm literally in my in my normal life, I'm a vampire. I would wear sunglasses in the house if I could. I can't stand this. Like, it's like blinding me. But then y'all can't see me. So here I am being blinded. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everybody. What up, Gabby? Uh, it is Stacy. Hello, Roberta. Cement. And if y'all can see at the top, my new little friend, Chris Thorns. He has a great YouTube channel. So, what? and he commented, that's why I brought his name up. But also, he was able to snag an interview with Malia Bass's biological father. And it was great. There was a lot of good information in there. And um, I want y'all to go over there and show him support. I would share it in my community tab, but I don't have one yet for whatever reason. So, yeah, but y'all go check it out because, you know, I, I may I may do, you know, just a little video talking about what they said, but it would be best just to give all the credit to him. Y'all go look for yourself and in the description box, I will link it so that way y'all can go check him out. But it's Chris Thorne show and he is on YouTube. So and he did, it, it was a good interview. It had a lot of information in there. It, it really it let you know why, you know, why mom wasn't there. You know, she was invited. She just didn't come and. You know, um, she had a ride to go. She didn't go. Um, she wouldn't let him see the baby. You know, I know a lot of people come hard at the dad. This is about Malia Bass. I apologize. I didn't, if y'all didn't catch that. But, um, and I only say this because I know and I see it and I've dealt with it. But guess what, guys? Sometimes parents are just difficult. And they don't let, and especially women, shitty women, that is, black hole women, they, you know, oh no, you making me mad, well, you can't see your kid, you don't pay child support, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. And, oh, you got an old lady, you got a new girlfriend, oh, well, then you can't see your kid. Well, I, you know what? You can't do that. You know, it's all this feminism and everything else, but yet, you know, in essence, unfortunately, we have a lot of rights and we rob them. We, some women rob dads those rights. And sometimes dads, it's just better in their mind for the child not to fight constantly. And that's not bad, you know. But I was impressed with this young man, Malia's dad, and I and I felt awful for him. Hindsight's always twenty twenty, You know, what's up, Christina? Very merry. I'm so glad y'all can make it. Catherine, hey, good. I'm in Tennessee, so we're not far. Um, so how was everybody's weekend? Yeah. Happy Labor Day, y'all. What do y'all got going on today? Anything? Yeah. Roberta's being attacked by dogs. How's your son doing, Roberta and your, um, daughter-in-law? All right. It was good. Good. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. I got a little bit, <coughs> I have smokers hack. So, Anyways, yeah, we're not doing nothing right here. It's been a normal day. I'm going to warm up some uh, chicken and dressing that I made last night because we had a bunch left. And, yeah, that's that's probably what we're doing. I'm going to clean. I'm going to push out, which we're going to talk about one of them. It's in the thumbnail, Miss Olivia Jansen. I hope baby Fatia will, if nothing else, she'll catch the video that I'm doing for Olivia Jansen. And I guess we'll go ahead and take that. I can't pull it up because... It's connected to my Facebook, and then all my information will be out for everybody. So, but I'm just going to tell you all about it, and I'm doing a separate video, but I wanted to bring awareness. So, what's up, Toxic Origin? Uh, have you heard of Missy Beaver's case? No, and damn it, I've been pretty good about putting my pen and paper in here. Um, I can't, I get if you could shoot me an email, that would be great, and I would, I would gladly look into it no worries i'm looking into another one right now heck i can't think of the name but anyways so olivia jansen she was a baby out of uh, kansas city 
and she died at the hands of her father, her biological father, and the grandmother. What's my email? Let me drop it in here really fast. It's super easy. Leave it to Bieber at Gmail, but I'm going to put it in here. Let's see. I type like I'm 40 in the 40s with the typer. Bieber. Uh, but yeah, so Olivia Jansen and the the thing about the Olivia Jansen case and a lot of the other cases is that CPS had access and had um, knowledge to these to the abuse of these children and they left the children in the home. And the minute that the uh, cat did I write that right? Yeah. And the minute that the baby goes missing or passes away or something happens. All of a sudden, the CPS records, they just get sealed. There's like seven cases right now that I've been following. Exact same story. CPS is involved. They don't do anything. I think in Adrian Jones's case, and this is another case out of Kansas City, CPS, or well, up there, it's DCFS. But they just made them sign a little sheet of paper saying that they wouldn't abuse the child anymore. Well, we all know how good papers work, right? Like marriage papers, restraining orders. These are all good papers that really mean a lot, right? No, they mean shit. So the baby died. And, and not only did he die, he died in probably one of the worst cases I've seen. It was It's right up there with the Gabriel Fernandez. So it's awful. So um, people in Olivia's family... The grandmother and a family friend, I believe is how it goes. It'll all the information will be in the video, but they I've started something called Olivia's Rainbow Project. And, you know, it's uh, yellow is the color and they they have prayer vigils. They they are right now working on legislation in Kansas City to help strengthen the child laws. So I'm super excited to put this video out. I've been I've talked to a little bit with the uh, administrator of the group and she's been super helpful and we've just been corresponding. So I'm excited and um, I can't wait to put it out. And for awareness, y'all know we had to go to the Facebook page. It's Olivia's Rainbow Project. Join the group, get involved, sign petitions. But I'm working on hopefully I'll have it done by the end of the day and I'll be able to put it out tomorrow. Hopefully. So, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Let me catch up. What's up, Phyllis? Let's see. Neighbor's uh, house caught fire, was busy trying to call. Oh, no, Toxic. That's awful. God, I hope they're okay. It's so easy. I really want somebody to work on Missy Beaver's case from 2016. I will email you. No worries. Yeah, please do email me. Please do email me. And I will definitely take a look. Juju, uh, Juju sent me one, too, that I've been looking at. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Very scary looking. Hey, what's up? Uh, it's a crime shame. Formerly Sky Jean. Um, let's see. She just started a new YouTube channel. Also, y'all should go check it out. Um, let's see. So, who else is in the thumbnail? Yep, I guess we'll talk about the missing three-year-old. Um, yeah, I, I love my handle, too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, I, th I thought it was well that Bieber is my nickname in real life a good friend of mine her son he couldn't say my name my real name and so he would say Bieber and then you know my little baby he he would say Bieber too you know so it's mom but now but let's see okay thank goodness actually sweeter but okay all right so this is out of Ohio um actually Let's just take a look at this. I'm sure everybody is a buzz about it. I know I've been a buzz about it. And uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I have not. There's not been an hour that I haven't checked back for um, updates for this case, for this uh, Braylon Noble. Uh, yeah, happy I made it. Yeah, welcome to the stream, D. It feels so weird saying D because that was my kid's dad's name and he passed over a year ago. So it's good to have you in the stream. All right, guys, let's take a look at this. All right. And this is an y'all have to go check out True Crime Society. I, I tell you right now, they have a really good website. I love their website and it's very informative. It's detailed. Um, 
and it's not there it's not overwhelming you know so okay let me scroll up i was reading it and they always have different pictures and stuff that they don't really have anywhere else so look at this doll baby this is Braylon, Braylon Noble. He is three. He is nonverbal autistic. And he is still missing. So, Braylon Noel, Noble. I keep wanting to say Noel. That's my daughter's middle name, Noel. <clears throat> Braylon Noble, an autistic three year old. He has been missing since Friday, September 4th. His mother called police at about 1219 to report him missing. She reported that uh, she had not seen him in about 30 minutes and that she believed that he had fallen from the third story window. I'm going to show you the window in a second. And, you know, so this irritated me. If anybody's caught some of my, my videos over the weekend, this was the picture they put on the Amber Alert. Or not, it's not an Amber Alert. It's a missing persons because they don't feel like it was an abduction and they don't have a car involved. But nonetheless, I thought there were other pictures out there. They could have picked one where it showed his whole face and him standing. Anyways, that's just some of my little frustrations with the way things are done sometimes. But Toledo police officers and Toledo fire and rescue crews have searched the apartments, looked inside, underneath cars, in the apartment complex, parking lots, and as well uh, adjacent buildings, including attics, crews have been carrying ladders in and out of the apartment building, peeking in and out of windows, under cars. Now, this report is a couple days old. Now, they have expanded the search now. So, oh yeah, they're about to say that now. They have also searched the complex swimming pool with a diver, and, and they searched Swans Creek for at least a quarter mile in each direction. <clears throat> The terrain is too rough to put a boat in the water, according to Private Sterling Re. We'll say Re, spokesperson for the Toledo Police and Rescue, Fire and Rescue. So on Saturday, Dijanae Cox, Braylon's mother, was part of the community group conducting the search for Braylon. She had clothing items in hand just in case for the dogs to sniff the canine dogs. But this is her right here. And guys, I want to say when she wasn't being questioned, <clears throat> she was out there looking for her kid. She declined to talk to media. She talked to them off camera and she's like, I had to focus on my kid and y'all keep looking. But she's active. I'm not saying anything. I'm trying to wait on facts and evidence. Uh, yes, of course, this story sounds crazy to me. Of course it does. But um, stranger things have happened. And I don't know, guys. Right now, I'm not getting the vibe. I'm not. There ain't no ABC one, two, three guy crying on the camera. It ain't no. She's not losing her mind telling us how to parent our kids. Like to me. She seems by all accounts like she's everything is appropriate. If that makes sense, uh, I'm going to hold judgment. Neglect, maybe, but her involvement, I don't know. I'm, I'm not ready to say that just yet. I'm just not, you know. Uh, Braylon's mother was taken downtown to the safety building to be interviewed uh, several times. She was over the weekend and she came right back and she helped with the search. So. Lieutenant uh, Lynn Hart for Toledo Police Department confirmed she was not in custody. <coughs> Excuse me. And as of last night, she was not in custody. Dejanay has since deactivated her Facebook, but has activated her Instagram. The feature uh, sh it features a short video of Braylon from August 3rd. So, I mean, to me, she seems like she's kind of handling it. The thing, you know, the way, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. I'm not. This is not as easy like the Malia Bass case, and I still don't have facts and evidence on that, but, you know, I can't ignore my two eyes. You know, Braylon's biological father, uh, Tavion Noble, is currently in jail, and he has been ever since before Braylon's disappearance. He was extradited to Michigan after fleeing two charges of armed robbery. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Armed robbery as a felony are... <clears throat> as well as a felony firearm and larceny charge, if I could talk correctly. According to Lucas County court records, the family has been involved in the search. His family has been involved in the search. Before her Facebook was deactivated, Dijanae shared a post along with these comments. Okay, let's see. And my people already, 
look looking when body pulled up i'm not about to go out i'm not about to go in around but y'all need to look different apartment i i don't know some of it's cut off if y'all can see uh apartment complexes down airport we need space that's out that's where we're heading thank you <clears throat> and then she says he never fell off the balcony which i haven't ever seen the report that said he fell off the balcony i never said that and i as i seen the window i ran outside to look you know f t uh, toledo police department they just found two what toledo police department they just found two bodies in the river because of them whoa as you can see they canceled the search because of visibility nobody seen my child at that park while i was getting questioned somebody seen my child at the park while i was getting questioned now wait a damn minute wait a damn minute Am I about to have to eat every single word I just said about this mother? Let's reread this one. I've never seen this. I have not seen this. He never fell off the balcony. And as I seen the window, and I assume she means that it was, you know, obstructed. I ran outside to go look. Fuck. Toledo Police Department. They just found two bodies in the river because of them. Because of the search. As you can see, they canceled the search because of visibility. Okay. Okay. And then she says, somebody seen my child at the park while I was getting questioned. So is she saying there's a witness or is she accusing? Y'all let me know in the comments because <sighs> news got the story wrong. It's not much I can say. It's an ongoing investigation. Okay, guys, let's look at this window. I'm going to have to mull that, all that over for a second. So this is the window. And I hopefully they have a picture of the full apartment. It's high, guys. It's high. And from this angle, I mean, yeah, of course a kid could fall out like that. How tough is this kid? You know? Let's see. Well, y'all can kind of see the apartments through here. Saturday night volunteers, they found two suspicious items in the search for Braylon. One of them being a possible bloody blanket in the cemetery across from Hunter Bridge Apartments. However, Braylon's mother says the blanket does not belong to Braylon. Okay. Man, I hope they show another picture. A separate group of searchers also found what appeared to be freshly dug hole in the woods nearby. And that had two by four board next to it. Now, the yeah, and the police said that when they searched earlier that that hole was not there. Now, who knows? You know, you could have had a kid out there digging. Just don't, you know, playing in their yard. I mean, you, you don't know. But the bloody blanket in the hole, a dug hole. So that was weird. Police stress that neither of these developments can conclusively be linked to three-year-old to the three-year-old's disappearance at this time. So police and canine have been searching the woods near Braylon's home. Volunteers continue to show up Sunday morning to aid in the search for Braylon. Police have since asked that they avoid the wooded area behind Braylon's home. They say because it could be dangerous, but I think initially they did have volunteers out there searching. But you don't want anything to get obstructed, you know. So I get that. And that's what I just read. OK, so here, here, here's a here's a picture. So these are the apartments. <clears throat> so if y'all could see like right here, where's my little cursor? Like she has a corner apartment. So it would be like he fell from like right there. So what do y'all think, guys? I mean, to me, that seems far for a three-year-old. Now, somebody left me a comment and said that, and I didn't know this, that some autistic babies, they cannot sense danger, and they, they don't feel pain, pain appropriately. It's from my understanding what the comment was saying. And I was like, whoa, now that does make a difference. To me, that makes a difference as far as, like, I don't know, guys. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to be 
trying to be optimistic. Now they did. Yes. Last night they did. Uh, add, they said $5,000 reward for any information leading to successful recovery of Braylon. So, yeah, I mean, this is the picture they use. How stupid. Anyways, anyways. Oh, there's a better picture. Mm, Nonverbal autistic lasting Hunters Ridge Toledo wearing a short sleeve red and white Mickey Mouse shirt. And if, uh, is there, no, no number. Okay. So this is mom. Some sources are reporting that the mother left the vehicle with the FBI, but they have not made any arrest at this time. She was pictured again Sunday helping in the search for Braylon. So there's mom. Let's see. Uh, they have added to this story, guys. I swear I looked at this yesterday. They've added to it. One of our group members was involved in the search Sunday. She has shared some of the things she noticed during the day. Um, just got home from search theories. Yes, there. Okay, guys, I don't know if I really want to read all this because I, I don't want to have misinformation coming out of my own mouth. This is True Crime Society. Let's see if they got anything else. Update Spraylin's mom. Uh, pictured in gray is back home. Yeah, this was last night. This was late last night, probably about, I guess she got there about seven and the report came out like two hours later. But, uh, well, the news report, because I watched it. Uh, she declined to go on camera, but says that she was not arrested, and she simply spent the day answering questions with detectives. She is back out searching for Braylon now. So, let's see. Braylon's mother told uh, the reason she believes Braylon fell from the window is because she was out on the back deck, and Braylon's grandmother was in the living room. So there's a balcony, living room, and then, so that's why she feels like, because everybody else, you know, which that's weird. Like, what did he do? do what did he, like, kick the window in? Like, that's a big, y'all seen it. Let's go look. Like, that's big. I'm going to be so lost in the comments. So, but I'm diving in. Let's look. Guys, That that's a... Do you really think that baby would have the strength to do that? Yes, maybe. Let's see. I can't, but so the bottom of the wall would be somewhere here. How in the hell would he even get his feet up there? I would think he would. I was about to demonstrate. I'm not going to do that, but I would think he'd have to. I think he'd have to use his feet. I think I don't. You know what, guys? Facts and evidence. I don't know. I'm not some police agency right here. I'm just a damn lady on YouTube running my mouth talking about my opinion. But, well, let's see if they say anything. Else. Look at this little handsome guy. And they say that he carries around a little phone cord for comfort. If they had that photo. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Holy crap, guys. What are in the world do y'all think about all that? What do y'all think about that? I'm so behind. Guys, I don't, it's not adding up. And I don't know. I didn't know she got on. I don't, well, okay. If the world's looking at you crazy, maybe you would feel the need to be compelled to you know, say, hey, I didn't do it. You know, maybe you would feel compelled to say something, you know. Yeah, there was a grandmother. There was a, a grandmother, a mom, and somebody else was in the house. So I'm, I know there was definitely two adults in the house, but I'm going to think that there were three, three adults in the house. Let's see. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm going to try to catch up, y'all. And if I miss anybody, welcome to the stream. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm caught up. I'm caught up. Um, yeah, so what do y'all think? Let's see what y'all are saying. Uh, okay, so yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's starting. I didn't read them Facebook comments. I was like, ew, well, what? <laughs> what up, Brooke Socialite? When it don't sound right, it ain't. 
sorry who fall and three-year-old don't cry get it that was my thought too and welcome to the stream i was thinking too wouldn't the baby be stunned you know like uh i mean i mean it's instinct because you don't initially your body's gonna have to catch up with your mind but if he was autistic and he cannot sense pain like a normal kid would or, you know, and hey, and y'all, people that have autistic kids or know a lot about it, y'all can comment. I don't know if that's a, a, a true thing. I know somebody commented that and I did not know that. I know a lot about autism and Asperger's and things like that, but I didn't, I didn't know that necessarily. And it makes sense. It makes total sense. My hairs always get on my freaking nerves. Let's see. Uh, so I almost got on this one because I was going to trigger me. I almost did not get on. Okay. Yeah. I have a boy who is autism. He's 18 now. And I still worry about my son. Uh, my son is taller than me. And weighs more than me. Oh, Gabby. So maybe you can answer. Is that true? Do you know if that's a true thing? That some, that some kids on the spectrum, you know, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't sense pain appropriately. I mean, I, I'm really ignorant about it. I don't know. I have a high strung kid. <laughs> Very difficult, but he's 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 not on the spectrum. <laughs> so he's he's on his own spectrum, that's what he is. So goof troop. Let's see. Yeah, it's not good. I have so far read these stories about mom really not really I've been trying to stay away, but I've also heard stories that she's been okay. Now the father's, the biological father's girlfriend, I think it was, which, you know what? People are so stupid. Why are you coming after these people? I guess she did lash out. You get on my page talking about crazy shit and the dad's not, he's in jail. You know, she said that, that she's lying. You know, the story's crap, you know, but they come after her first, you know? So, I mean, what do you think? You can dish it out. You can't take it. You want to you want to be barking at the dogs, but didn't you want to get on the damn porch? Come on. Oh, uh, what is this world coming to? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know, Phyllis. Children are too are top heavy, so he would wind up head first. Very good point, D. Very good point. Um, let's see. It's not. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, no girl. Every minute a child goes missing in the year. Yeah. Literally every minute a child goes missing in the USA. That is a very true statement. I, I was watching something the other day and they said that. Oh, well, thank you for saying it for me. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all for eyes on him. So it's a little baby I'm having anxiety about. I don't understand this mother's explanation. I don't. And I don't like also they search was not organized. I saw that too. They said that they were just. There was no organization for the search at all. I saw that too, Gabby. You know something? Well, I don't even want to say it. I don't want to trigger you, you know, but <sighs> crimes with parents of special needs children, disabled children, things like that, it's on a huge spike since COVID. And a huge spike. These parents just snapping. And I, I mean, there's three cases. There's the mom that pushed the little boy in the ravine, and there was the one Caesar that went hurt. She that just happened a couple days uh, last week, and I've had different people reach out to me and say, "Well, I knew them personally, and they were the most loving people ever. You could they were inseparable. It's like something just clicks." But let me say something. Let me say something too. I'm not buying that shit either. So you, so you, so 10 years, you've been good to this kid and all of a sudden you just snaps. You don't know how to get help. You don't know how to use your resources. You get funding. The state, the government helps you get money, money to take care of their needs monthly. I'm not saying it's a lot, but I'm saying it's something. And there, there's ways that you can deal with your child. I'm sorry. There are, I have a difficult kid. I, I'm not, and it doesn't compare to a lot of other parents. And I recognize that. But I understand the screaming for three hours on end. I understand the flipping out and just, ah, you know, you can't do anything. So, I mean, to an unstable parent, and half of these damn kids are great. They're not even behavior problems. The parents are just psychotic. It's disgusting. I, I, I look at some of these and I'm like, your kid wasn't even bad. You don't even have a clue what it's like to have a difficult kid. <laughs> I mean, in oh God, 
kids are all different. I just, I don't know, man. No blood on the ground. Another good point. What up, Kel? Uh, the mother probably is trying to build rapport. That's a valid point. That's a valid point. Oh, I, I remember your little thumbnail now, or your little profile. I see you in the comments. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, she could very well, maybe she, or, you know, she might be pulling like a Barry Morphew. He might be pulling from all these other cases and like, well, this is, we don't do this and we do not do this and we don't do this. But I don't know, man. She takes the kids. She does stuff with them. She goes to the zoo. She dresses them up. She, I mean, to me, the, I mean, by all accounts, they look like, you know, I mean, poor Malia, you look at her damn house. She didn't even have, she didn't even have a mattress. She didn't have jack shit, you know? You could tell it was other people in the family taking care of that baby. It wasn't her mom and one, two, three ABC guy. No, they were neglectful AF. Seriously. Mm. Yes, I should have been. Let's see. No blood on the ground. I'm curious if they if the tent they found. What's that? The tent they found? They found a tent? I wasn't aware of that. He falls out the window. I'm on the phone with 911. Autistic son, number fell out the window. I need everyone. Yes! Here's something else, too. He falls. You're right there. Like, dude, you're right there. there you're screaming. Ah, ah. You're getting attention. Everybody's, oh, shit, the kid's missing. So then you got hands on deck. Is this baby like a Speedy Gonzalez? Is he like a superhero? And I'm sure he is in his own right. But he's not like a, you know, the classic superhero. You know. I... <laughs> That baby's going to pop up, and I and I would eat every bit of my words, but it's, it seems so strange. It's so strange to me. Lee Bass says, I hop and skip away from me. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, that case. That blanket needs to be tested for DNA. Yeah, I'm sure they're on it. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the blanket in the hole. Yeah, it is something weird. And when's the last time he was seen by somebody other than his mom? I would have to say the grandmother. I'm not, I don't know for a fact. I'd have to say the only other person outside of the mom would be the grandmother. Uh, the mother is suspect and should be treated as such. Does she really expect us to believe the baby fell out the window and then disappeared? I think she does. I think she does, Kel. That's the way it's, that's the way it's shaping up. <laughs> and you know something else too, like with, with, with Malia, we at least, unfortunately, we had the body. But, you know, you get justice, it's better to have a body. So, you know, here I go, like all day yesterday, I was like, I wasn't waiting on it, but I was kind of like, my phone's going to blow up at some point and they're going to find this baby one way or the other, good or bad, you know. But then you're like, like Briasia Terrell, you're just waiting around. The, what the hell do you mean? She didn't vanish. She didn't vanish. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I get these in my head. And I'm just like, I think about these babies, like the Briasia, and I'm like, okay, where is she? Okay, cut the shit. Where, where is she? Where is she? Kids don't vanish. People don't vanish. Mm. Two bodies. Yes. They were looking for this boy, and they found two other dead bodies. What in the actual hell is really going on? Crazy. So I am single mom and three kids, 18 months apart. But the one thing I did is take care of them for the best. Yes. Yes. You got one shot with these kids, Gabby. 100% correct. What's on Friday afternoon? I missed it, y'all. I don't know what y'all talking about. The whole thing was the way to distract. Yeah. Simba, it could have just be whatever. It would be great info on where she was doing before she was. Yeah, I don't know what she was reported doing. I don't know if that's came out yet. <coughs> when I can't feel them, you know, spirit. Good. When they talk something not sounding right. Yeah. It sounds like accusing and possibly a witness. Exactly. I was like, well, was there a witness? Somebody saw my baby or no, somebody saw my baby or no, somebody saw my baby. They're down there talking to the police, you know. So to me, and and she's the only one that I heard say anything like that. I have not heard anything about a witness. I mean, I've only checked 200,000 times in the past 48 hours. I have not heard anything about a witness. So I don't know, man. Let's see. If my 
if if my kid or any loved one went missing, I would want media coverage as much as possible. Now, she did say for the media to do it, she just didn't want to be in front of the camera. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Roberta says, um, no baby falls from three-story building and walks away. I mean, <laughs> it's not funny, but I had a comment yesterday that says, well, was there a trampoline under the apartment? That's the only way that baby was walking out. Mm. <coughs> She's changing her story. Hadn't heard that yet. Plus, mom would be uh, forensic aware and know what doing opposite of what the other killer moms do. I'm telling you, she could be right now. I, I, I'm not going out like Sahara Irvin. Mm -mm, nope, you're not. Nope, I'm not going out like her. I already know I'm not. Um, I don't know though. And then I look at her and I see the care that she takes with the baby and just the way she talks about him in her posts. Like she's a concerned parent. It ain't no. She's going to tell you things about the kid. She's going to tell you what's special about him. She's going to tell you what he likes, what he doesn't like. She seems like that type of parent. And I know people want you to see what they want to see through photos. But, you know, you can just tell sometimes, you know. But, I mean, yeah, now I'm like, what a, what the shit? That sounds a little. I didn't know that. I didn't see that one little. It's crazy. Like, just that one little thing. One little thing. She is all over the place. Yes. What's up, Wyvon? Uh, no, it was ground. It was grass. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Simon said that I tripped over my own shoelace at that age three. I'd have been screaming and bawling. Absolutely. Yeah, because just because he's nonverbal, I mean, he can still cry. He can still make noises. He just can't speak words. So it's not like their voice box is removed. What up, Deception Indicated? Mm, let's see. No worries. No worries. That's what the replay's for. Juju, what's up? Let's see. All right. Maybe I'll get caught up one day, guys. Okay. So, autism is a spectrum, and all kids on it is different. My son is at the top. I volunteer with autistic kids. And, yes, some don't feel pain, but falling from that far broken parts can't move. Very true. I was thinking, too, how did this boy not break something? You know, like, he's, he, just because he's autistic doesn't mean he turns into Gumby. You know, I don't mean that ugly, but I'm just saying he doesn't, you know, it's not a, y'all know what the hell I'm trying to say. Thank you for the input, Gabby, because I didn't, I don't know some of this stuff. I don't, you know, I know child laws and stuff like that. But unless you have a child like that, you're, or, you know, on the spectrum, you don't, I'm supportive. But I know that don't make me knowledgeable, you know, so. <coughs> mm, I'm sorry, Percy. Whoa, what's happened? What happened, Christina? Oh, shit, I missed it. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, gosh. I'm Okay. My four-year-old nephew is autistic, nonverbal, and he wandered out and drowned in an apartment pool in June. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, my gosh. That is awful. I'm so sorry to hear that, Christina. Holy crap. Oh, that's awful. Let's see. They don't have mobility. Whoa. What, what up, April? Mo uh, it sounds fishy and unfeasible about this. If you aren't guilty, you don't have to change your story because you aren't lying. Yeah, that, that's a very valid point there, Cement. Let's see. Okay, the state sends in early in intervention speech therapy when they are nonverbal signs languages to go. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. I didn't know that. They need to search mother's apartment. Uh, hopefully they have. Hopefully, hopefully they did search it. I don't know for a fact. Hopefully, seems to me like it would be police 101. Uh, check the storage units too. Absolutely. Let's see. Cameras aren't around. She are that baby on camera. Yeah. Where are the cameras? That's a very valid point. They seem like a pretty decent apartment complex, so there should be cameras. 
Uh, they absolutely need to search that apartment. Yes. Plus, he is on medication. Is he on medication? She needs to be telling these things. Yeah. I haven't seen anything about that medication either. I haven't seen that he's on medication. Only thing I've seen was um, he carries the little uh, phone cord for comfort. It's a little charger. Which, you know, I, I know some, it's attachment. It's sometimes kids get attached to different stuff. Autism doesn't mean they don't cry or feel pain. Yeah. Well, sometimes, but that's what they're saying. Like they do, some, sometimes the, the autism can keep them from responding appropriately, but a broken bone, like Gabby said, a broken bone is a broken bone, you know? So, but, um, I know like ADHD, many kids have many different symptoms. They're not like, absolutely. That is very valid. Christina, and that can happen, and it's sad how quickly he was found. Yes, for sure. True crime tubers have been helping me through this. Text on my all, but yeah. Let's see. Nonverbal. What up, faithful one? Nonverbal is different in each child. Some kids can say a few words. Other kids can say, can't say can say anything. My youngest grandson is lower severe nonverbal. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, and that's true. I mean, and even Miss Gabby said the same thing. All right, Phyllis, have a great one. I hope to see you Wednesday. Let's see. Okay, I'm all caught up, finally. No, I'm not. My screen just jumped. Why did it take her so long to get to the ground? She said, you know what? It's What did that report say? The first thing it said, it had been 30 minutes since she'd seen her son. Now, I've been I've been streaming for about 40 minutes now. I haven't seen my son in 30 minutes because he's asleep. <laughs> and I have a 16-year-old at the back of the house. So it's just, but I promise if he was awake, I wouldn't be in here. There's no way. I can't get enough for when he's banging on the door. He's not, I'm not leaving his sight. He's not leaving my sight. I don't know, guys. He didn't speak, but he would be crying with her. Yes, P potentially. Yeah. All right, guys, I think I'm going to switch gears a bit, unless y'all want to keep talking about this sweet baby, which is fine. Um, I don't know what else is there is to say at this point. Cameras, we need cameras. Probably need a, we need a Tim Miller down there. I would have to say we need a Tim Miller with a Texas Equisearch to go to Ohio, is what I would say. And, um, yeah, let's see, but we don't know if this baby on that place a spectrum where he d that's true gabby we don't know that we don't know that Th that was just something that somebody put in my comment section that sometimes babies don't feel pain like that and maybe that's why what's up miss ebony thank you so much i appreciate the love and support um you know we don't know that he wasn't on um we don't know that she just i mean that's just what if they fell, you know, how was he able to get up so fast? You know, there's no way she would have been like, oh, shit, the wind is open. The baby's gone, you know. But how are you in a small apartment like that and you haven't seen your child in 30 minutes? But there's a grandma on the other side of the house. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't. Which probably why she's been questioned several times, several, several times in 48 hours, because probably doesn't make much sense to the officers either. God, my hair is so obnoxious. I need to do something with it. Ugh, I need to color it. Nothing's open. Um, my grandson cries every time he gets hurt. Oh, <laughs> I pray, you know, in this country, complain about privacy. But if this is was England, there would be a CCTV everywhere. Yeah. You know what? I was thinking about that, too. Like, you know, we complain about it. But then again, oh, now and everybody's in damn mask. You know, I mean, so if we did have a little bit more. I don't know. I'm picky about privacy, but I'm not out there committing murders. And I know and for the most part, I feel like I got a handle on my life and my children <laughs> to where I know where they're at, except for my older ones, you know, but baby, are you close to Chattanooga? No, I'm not. I'm in middle Tennessee. I'm about three hours from Chattanooga, but yeah, Tim Miller would be great. Tim Miller would be absolutely great. Um, it's never on in my town when crime is, <laughs> I'm not 
funny how that happens the cameras they just like wasn't no cameras egghead he didn't have no cameras in his cell there was no cameras in this apartment complex for oh i thought she was saying i, I thought she was uh, cussing in another language occurs but yeah i knew what you meant though for sure you thought but yeah i mean it's funny just no cameras it's like you know, there some satellite right now from outer space is probably watching at the back of my head right now. But but you can't you can't find nothing. You know, nothing happens. Let's see how ironic. I'm from Chattanooga. How funny! Well, very cool. Yeah, I'm in Middle Tennessee, so I'm about an hour from uh, Nashville. Tim Miller is great. Sad for his daughter, but glad. Yeah, you know, probably finding these kids like that. And him doing this, and this is his life's work, it probably really does help him deal with his daughter. It probably really, if I had to guess, I would assume it does. It's like the humidity is getting to my hair while I'm sitting here. It's ridiculous. All right, guys, we're going to switch gears. And some of y'all uh, may be familiar with this case. Some of y'all may not be. Um, it is incredibly, uh, it's awful. So <clears throat> I don't know if y'all caught it, but I did. <laughs> Probably not. It's got like 30 views, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay because some people, they just don't want to hear it, you know, but I did a video on Fort Hood. Now, Lavina Johnson is not from Fort Hood, but I came across her case and I wanted to share it with y'all because it, I never in my life seen a case like this. It Well, I mean, I guess I have, but not like, I don't know. This one's really, this one's particularly bad. Um, and it's just cover-ups in the military, I guess is what we're going to call it. I don't know. But let's see. People, oh, people hate me for saying it. Just like driving when need to pass a test. So some women in me. I have an hour people permit. They found a small grave on Chad Bell's, Chad Bell's property. And they see anything they want to see. That's true, too. That is true, too. And they, they can ping little cell phones where this one was hit there and all this other stuff. <clears throat> So, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let me pull this up. What up, Jay Everett? Happy Labor Day to you as well. Let's see. Okay. Now, I'm going to just play this for y'all. That way. <laughs> y'all can maybe understand it. St. Louis Public Radio's live stream is brought to you by First Community. Once again, ranked as one of St. Louis's largest mortgage lenders. I can't fast First forward it. Has Sorry. Loan products for every borrower, including first-time buyers. Learn more at firstcommunity.com. It's 3:18, and you're with St. Louis Public Radio, 90.7 KWMU. Sorry, guys. In just a few moments, many Americans have embarked on do-it-yourself projects. During you know what, guys? We're just going to do a little do it ourselves here, and I'm just going to read the article. All right. And this article is from 2015. So, and then 2015, it was 10 years since it happened. 10 years after Army Private uh, Lavina Lynn Johnson died in Iraq, her father keeps a family photographs of her tucked away in his basement office in his fluorescent home, <clears throat> excuse me, so that his wife doesn't see them. John Johnson says that says she finds the images too painful to look at. A smiling Lavina in a gold cap and gown, class of 2004, Hazelwood Central High. Lavina posing in a powder blue formal gown. The Army says the 19-year-old soldier killed herself in Iraq. Guys, let me tell you something. It couldn't be further from the truth. There, it is a physical impossibility that she killed herself. It's physically impossible. And it... it it's a massive cover-up. Uh, for 10 years, Johnson has believed to be on a mission to find his own answers to what happened to his pretty daughter who played the violin and wanted to be a movie producer. And uh, the honor student uh, would take, took after him. <clears throat> she took after him. All of her life, Lavina was told, you look like your daddy. You act like your daddy. You think like your daddy, Johnson says. He treasures the Father's Day card she sent just weeks before she died. God, guys, I'm about to fall. I'm about to fall apart right now because of the story. And I know the story. So let me pull it together because y'all may not know it. Ugh. 
Okay. Okay, guys. Man, this is so sad. It's so sad. <sighs> it was a beautiful card, he says. She talked about she talked about what an honor it was to have to have people compare me to her. Something that people have done from the moment she came on this earth. She says that Levine, he says that Levina's decision to join the army was influenced by his own career path. He lived with his family in Pruitt, Pruitt Agu housing project. I know I butchered that, but that is a weird little word in St. Louis until he graduated from high school. He joined the army serving for three years after his discharge. He went to college, eventually earning the do doctorate in psychology. Both he and his wife had civilian jobs and troop support for the army. They've been married 38 years. Let's see. The Johnsons had five children. Lavina felt, Lavina felt she should pay her own way through college, her father says. He and his wife were hesitant, but Lavina thought the army seemed like a good way for her to do it. <clears throat> Even without her photos on the walls, the sunny two-story house where Lavina grew up is filled with her memories. Johnson recalls of, uh, vividly the moment everything changed when the doorbell rang too early on a summer morning. Linda got up and looked out the window and said, John, there's soldiers standing on the porch. And then I knew. It was not good news. Something has happened to Lavina. He calls the soldier's voice. Lavina is dead. Self-inflicted wounds. His wife was screaming. She was up on the balcony. And it was, oh, God, that is horrible. I'm sitting there on the steps. I'm listening to the chaos in my house. And I'm watching this guy. He's standing there like a statue. <clears throat> the Johnsons could not believe what they were hearing. They had just talked to Lavina two days before. She was telling them about her plans. She was about to start a new job on the Army base, and her outfit was the 129th. Uh, I lost my place. 129th Corps Support Battalion. We will be rotating back on to the states in a few months. She would be home to help her father decorate for Christmas tree, a tradition she and her younger sister enjoyed every year. She was looking forward to the future, looking forward to coming home, looking forward to having another job. Information from the Army was vague and contradictory. Johnson said he told the media that he had suspicions about his daughter's death, even as she was being buried in the military with honors at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. I, I'm going to stop for a second, too. They do that, too. When there's a cover-up or something like that, same thing with Pat Tillman, we'll bury you with honors. We'll promote you. We'll promote you as if that makes it okay. Anyways, that's just something else and diving in all this stuff that I've noticed, too. They do, they're big with the promotions, especially when they're covering up something. She was promoted uh, posthumously to private first class and awarded good contact good conduct and the accommodation medals. When you come and tell me my 19 year old daughter didn't value life and that all she did is value all life. You tell me she committed suicide, but you didn't tell me what she did, whether she jumped off a bridge. They didn't give me any information. The official investigation took months and was conducted by special agents of the uh, U S army criminal investigation man, which investigates soldier deaths and crimes within the U.S. Army. Um, investigators concluded Private Johnson shot herself in the mouth with an M-16 rifle in the contractor's tent on a military base in Belize, Iraq. Oh, God, guys. She was stationed where she was stationed. The report included witness testimony suggesting that she may have been distressed over a recent breakup. Guys, John Johnson would have none of it. He demanded to see the Army's evidence. He filed a Freedom of Information request, which is very good, and enlisted the assistance of local legislators. Well, good for you. Good for you, because you know what? That is awful. 
John Johnson would have, okay, let's see. In a statement, St. Louis Police Radio, U.S. Representative Lacey Clay, or William Lacey Clay said that his staff devoted hundreds of hours to helping the Johnson family discover the truth about the case, including helping them obtain original autopsies and photos. And guys, I hope they don't show them here. I don't really, but it's bad. It's bad. Johnson formed his own investigation team and listed the help of family members who have studied criminal science for eight years, and they poured over the investigation documents. I'm going to try to get to the bulk of it. Let's see. Johnson said he had to find the strength to look at the autopsy photos of his daughter to examine the body before the funeral. In 2007, he made another difficult decision having her body exhumed for independent autopsy, and the results were inconclusive. Let's see. Johnson... There are some things we're going to have to do. Johnson disputes practically everything about the Army's conclusion. He says her commanding officer described her as happy and healthy. Let's see. I'm going to try to. All right. Okay. I am just going to. I'm going to. I'm going to get back to y'all. I'm just going to tell y'all. So, um, because this is taking forever. So, she, her, 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 her. Genitalia, it was completely, they poured acid on it to hide evidence. She was, she was assaulted sexually and, um, yeah, thumbs up guys. That's right. But yeah, she was assaulted sexually and they, guys, listen, if she, the gun was like four feet from her. So, I mean, on the opposite side of the hand that she would have used to shoot, and those are just a couple of little things wrong. No, she did not kill herself. No more than Pat Tillman was killed with friendly fire, for fuck's sake. I mean, ugh. So, guys, if you know, I'm going to post this link in the description box. It was the article was extremely long. It would have taken me 10 years to read all of it, but that's what happened. And this poor father, for years and years, like he he, he wouldn't have any of it, you know? And I'm telling you, there's a lot of bad things going on at the freaking forehead that they're covering up. The, Y'all know the last stream where we was talking about that chi guy that died in the uh, exercise training? Guess what? Now they're suspecting foul play. They're they're calling for information. And little did I know, just a week before Chi's death, there was another death from um, the physical training. So... Or for training exercise, should I say, not physical training. Training is physical, dude. But y'all know what I mean. A report on this is more. Okay, I'll check it when I get off the stream. Okay, let's see. Let me catch up. Mm, yeah, I want to say welcome to the new people in the stream. And the, just in general to the channel. I so appreciate y'all. We're just whoo whoo whoo. We're just taking off, guys, and I cannot do it without y'all. Seriously. Can we talk about what Amber Alert's only being used for suspected kidnappings? Any child gone missing needs automatic. Okay. Here's my thing. What if the child's not missing at all? And then you have a whole city in an uproar. And then now I do get what you're saying, and I have been voiced frustrations about that as well. But you you can't worry the public. So for me, the fact that they have not put out an Amber Alert or something, it's, I, I don't know. It either says that the boy has had an accident on his own or that somebody has done something to him. And I guess really and truly, those are the only two, you know, if outside of whatever. So, but, th but, but that's why. And they need to specify the difference of the, you know, alert. So if a child is just missing, I don't know, this baby's awfully little, but they don't have, they don't have a reason. You know, there is no car involved. They don't think nobody took him. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know that they think he was really still out there. You know, I don't know, but that, that's the, that's the reason. And I do understand it, but I understand what you're saying also problem is they break the cameras in the poor communities because of nefarious activities. Yep, true. Shoot them out with guns, too. Don't forget. Yes, that's right. Roberta, give the thumbs up. Uh, no worries. No worries. Have a good day, Skaging. Let's see. Let me see. 
So what do y'all think, man? That's awful. This Lavina Johnson, y'all should check into it. I'm, I'm. What's up, no sweetheart revamp? Hey, what's up? So I'm kind of thinking too that they may have a documentary or they may have a movie out. I'm gonna look at, but because when I was doing like my tags, they would say Lavina Johnson movie stuff like that. Yeah, I think it does need to be altered too. But again, I do kind of. Well, let me tell you what I think. I don't, do you know how hard it is? Like you can't in one place find all the Amber Alerts for the different states. So like, I just have to go and like every single state's news broadcast. <laughs> That's how I find out different stuff, you know, but even then, but yeah, I agree. They do need to be revamped. Let's see if no one took him, then they can't give it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then you got a whole community then you get the same thing with Malia Bass, you know, like you can't, did I snort? Oh no, I did snort. Oh, I do snort sometimes. I do. If I get real tickled, I didn't even realize I did it. Oh dear. I was trying to never, ever, ever do that on camera. <laughs> My old man, he's always laughing at me. Oh man. Appreciate you pointing that out. I would have never known. Now I'm mortified. <laughs> I'm joking, but, um, heck, I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, because then you got like, I mean, if they would have issued one, I mean, then you got like people freaking out. Well, I mean, is there a killer or somebody, is somebody out on the loose? Then they still haven't said nothing. So, you know what that says to me? It says to me that they feel like it was a local thing, more like in her home. You know, I often wonder about that. Like the police, don't you know your community is going to be a wreck? She may have been on drugs. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe so. I think sometimes people are just selfish and self-centered and they just don't want to deal. I don't even, you know, it'd be easy to say it was a drug problem. At least then there would be some kind of a, a little wiggle room. But I, I'm going to fair to say if you doing something to your child, the drugs wasn't your problem to begin with. You were broken inside. I'm sorry. I'm not saying the drugs don't make you do things or the drugs don't influence or contribute, but there's some levels of darkness. Um, some levels of darkness that that you're just broke. There's something inside of you that's just broke. And, and I think the drugs may intensify some things, but, you know, I thought you said the mom could have been smoking. Um... Honey, uh, unless she was smoking heroin or, or crack, it ain't going to make you do that. You know, smoking a little pot, you know, she should have been able to know where her babies was at. I'm not saying too or negative about the pot. You know, me, I do what you do. But that's not the problem. <laughs> In fact, it's probably a heavier drug. I mean, I don't even know. I mean. I don't, I don't know. I did. It doesn't make any sense. That window's pretty. It's a big ass hole. It was a big hole in the window, guys. It was a massive hole. I don't know, man. Um, let's see. Pot doesn't make you off your rock like that. Yeah, I'm a believer that no amount of drugs can make you do something against your nature. Exactly. I was just fixing to say that. Like you know, something is extra wrong. You know, I, I I think so, too. I'm not saying, and, and I know that some, no worries, I know that some may make you, you know, because they're just really, they're just really, really bad. But, you know, like, I can't even think of any right off the top of my head. Just, you know, the ones that just completely make you psychotic instantly. The, like, the, like, the walker shit. Exactly. Like, that kind of stuff. I mean, you might as well just, what do you got some crazy? Let me just inject myself with it. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's what that shit's like, you know, from, you know. And then they got, what is it seen in that document? Crocod, crocod, crocodilia? Crocodile? Crocodilia? I don't know. But some of those like that, yeah, they're just instantly, you just... <laughs> You know, you just, you're never coming back. You're never coming back. But this is not the problem with these these cases. I don't even, you know. I, I honest to God think just maybe one day you're just like, yeah, everything is fine. And then like, shit just happens. And you don't want to deal with it appropriately. You don't call the police and say there was an accident. You know, 
like with Malia, there, there, there's a rumor out there that she beat the baby and the boyfriend seen her do it. It's a rumor. So you didn't hear it from this little hick YouTuber, okay? It's a rumor. It's not facts and evidence. But it is out there that she beat the baby. He walked in. She should be fine. She leaves the kid laying on the bed, and that's when they go to the store. They come back. The baby is, she's not alive. That That's a rumor. It's not facts and evidence. That's why I wouldn't, I'm not going to put a, video out of bed and it could be nothing like that until you know it becomes facts and evidence but anything is possible she may have just lost her shit you know or him or him maybe c123 guy who know and who the hell knows he's in there i don't know playing the game i guess that's what you look like playing the game i wouldn't know we deal with real men around here so i don't know about that fake ass shit so i don't know about that Puffin helps relax the mind. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not going to contribute to you, you know, losing your damn kid. There's a lot of reasons why people, you know, smoke. So, and I'm not, I'm not judging anybody. Started in Russia with a crocodile. It's crazy. Eat you. I know, like, it eats your in, from the inside out. Where was it? I seen it. It wasn't in Russia. It was Germany or something where I seen it at. Maybe it was Russia, but yeah, it is bad. I, what is that? Drugs Inc. I think that's the name of the show. I'll always be available to help you any way possible. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate it. Y'all should go in, on the Facebook. Then y'all can reach me immediately. I have a Discord, but it's kind of, it's it's running itself, which is not at all. Maybe I just need to get a new one and just drop the link. But I don't know, man. I don't want I don't want idiots infiltrating it, you know. So I had to be careful. But I wouldn't mind any of y'all. Y'all are great. Oh my god! In the bath salts, the guy in Florida, he was eating the guy's face off. Yeah, that shit. No way. You all can have all that. I don't want no parts of it. No parts of it. They uh, know they are deadbeat people who come up with these bizarre stories. Yeah, exactly. I was like, um, the baby, the baby fell out of the what? The baby fell out of the window. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's a new one for sure. That's definitely a new one. You know, what? The, hey, what happened with the, what's that baby's name? Rory Pope. Do y'all, are y'all familiar with it? I've been seeing it. Yeah, it was Russian drugs. Okay, yeah, I knew I had seen it somewhere, Gabby. So, did that baby pass away? What happened? Didn't they find him in a, a lake? So, that was an accident. So, I mean, you know, I don't know the story behind that, but I think I did see that he that they found him. I think that's everybody. I only had four things. I had Olivia. I had this baby, Braylon. And I'm all head. Don't do face page. Yeah, stranger danger. <laughs> no worries, Brooke. No worries at all. You can email me too. You can go real old school. You can just email me. You can, well, I sent say you shoot me a letter, but no, stranger danger. <laughs> I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Oh, um, yes. Please email me about that. I don't know that I've heard that one. I mean, I may have. Who knows? Well, guys, I guess, let's see, they found the baby drowned. Yeah, I mean, what did what happened, Roberta? Did she just get away from the family? or? Oh, Teresa, hey, welcome. I didn't see you. Evil is real. I don't think drugs cause people to be evil. Drugs just help release the in, 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 inhabitation. Yes, I agree. I agree. You know, um, yeah. Now, so, like I said, you know, some drugs that just take over, you know, like, and I think if you already have, like, in younger people, and then you do, like, a hallucinogenic or something, and, and it can it can cause a psychosis, you know. And in younger, um, what is the age? I think they said 25 to, or no, it's like 20, what is it? It's like 22 to 28 is, like, the ages where they will be, you know, where they... Where, where it starts becoming more prevalent about um, psychosis and stuff like that, or mental illness, um, uh, schizophrenia, stuff like that. So, 
Now there's that, but but what these little run of the mill parents, they don't have any of that. Like Olivia Jansen, no, she had a selfish, junky ass dad and his girlfriend. I think the girlfriend did a lot of the stuff to Olivia, honestly. I really feel like she did. She you know, it's rumors she wouldn't even let that baby eat. She wouldn't even let the baby eat. Those are my kids' food stamps. I hope I hope she gets some big old burly person for a cellmate and she plucks her ass i don't mean kill of course i would never say that you know but like gabriel fernandez mama she got her head whopped too and she deserved a head whopping for what she did to that baby it's disgusting but you know vengeance isn't mine you know i mean so but yeah it does feel a little bit like something needs to happen you know watch your supporters yeah Oh, God, I can't come on every day. Now, Brooke, I do come on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, too. So, and I think if at some point, if I ever get, you know, I'll start doing sporadic, you know, streams eventually every now and again, too. But guys, like, seriously, like my little baby, he's probably going to get up like any time now. So I would do it every day. I just, I do homeschooling. I just have, you know, I have kids and family and house to clean and just stuff like that but the homeschool really i can't just do it and i had to wait until their homeschool the stuff is done <clears throat> before i can do the live stream because then i can put the little baby to sleepy time so um but hey and guess what he's five probably next year he's not even going to do sleepy time he only does it now because he, he has to or he becomes a different person he's he gets very cranky <laughs> I'm fully well i so appreciate it and at some point i know as the channel grows i'll do mods and stuff like that you know i don't know how to do any of it yet guys I mean, this is winging it 101 i'm probably about to wrap it up guys i'm so glad this was a really good stream okay that's what what did she roberta says yeah the baby got out of her sight for just a moment and drowned god I, it makes me never want to leave the house at all you know, it makes me never want to leave the house. That's, that's why I'm try, I'm so hesitant because I know accidents can happen. They can happen in the blink of an eye, you know, but winging it is totally, yeah. I mean, not, dude, I'm just winging it. This is winging it 101. I'm just learning as I go. So I need all y'all to do me a favor. After you smash that like button, go over to Chris uh, Thorne's page, The Chris Thorne Show, and go watch that video. Go subscribe to his channel. It was good. It was really good. I'm glad he was able to pull that freaking interview. It's very insightful. It's about it's Octavius Bass and it's Malia Bass's biological father. Y'all go check it out. I mean, I, I felt bad for the guy, you know, and just keep in mind, you know, sometimes the other parent won't allow you to be a parent. You know, sometimes people don't have money to spend time in court, you know. Oh, not my baby. Well, listen, all that tough talk sounds good. But in real life, sometimes people can't afford it, you know. And hindsight's always twenty twenty. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. This kid is 23 years old. He is a kid, a baby. I'm not excusing anything. But it's not take, you know, I know people were kind of, well, where was he at? Where was he at? Well, maybe he tried to be around and she wouldn't let him. You know, I mean, people forget about that sometimes. But anyways, you know, um, he did the right thing for the baby now. And that's what matters, you know. And as long as he seeks out justice for that baby, hopefully, uh, you got to be leaving it to be before, before you can leave it to be. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I, 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 most people don't re recognize the reference. But, yeah, I t I've got funky little intro music, but I keep getting uh, copyright strikes even though it's my own little Leave It to Beaver song. If y'all go watch some of my very, very, very first videos, y'all can hear my little intro. It's super badass. I'm bummed that they won't let me use it. It's it's my own mix. It's just with their stupid little do -do 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 whatever. And it's your job. It's your new job. No tell care. I'm an emptiness. Yes. Well, yeah. This is, this is my life. It's a good life. It's a good life. I love my life. Okay, guys. So, I'm so glad y'all came to the stream. Welcome to the new members. And I will see y'all Wednesday. Shoot me that email, Christina. 
And, um, you know, okay, Roberta says, gotta run. Love you guys. Take care. See you on Wednesday. Have a wonderful day. Yes, and we will be back here Wednesday to do the, another live stream. And it's call ins. This, remember, we're doing the call ins this Wednesday. So, y'all make sure to be there. All right, guys. Love y'all. See y'all on Wednesday.